Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Where are we watching this? Back out again today because I love it. Anyway, what's on the agenda today? Today's Friday. I went out on Tuesday. Um, didn't find a great deal to be honest. Found a few bits. Uh, so I'm back out again today. Today being Thursday? Is it Thursday? Thursday. Right, yeah, today's been Thursday. I know I can't take the rubbish out this morning. Um, yeah, so I'm going back on the, what I call the Saxon land. Give that another shot. One thing I for sure, I want to give a massive shout out to, or oh, I'll say shout out. I want you to go just check his channel out. That's all. Ah, that's all you got to do is check his channel out. Ash Unearthed. Okay? Just check it out. You won't be disappointed. My little friends have missed me. Right, let's start of the day as you mean to go on. I've got a button. It's just a uh, dome type. Nice glinty silver, no shank, rubbish. But hey, it's a button. I'm digging the right targets. Off a drop. Right, onto the first decent artifact. I've even left it in the clod for you, look. Because I've had... Oh, it's only part of a buckle. But hey, I found parts like this before. Really elaborate buckles. But that's definitely got some age to it, hasn't it? Yeah, man, that's find of the day. Second find, it's, uh, I think it's part of a buckle. It's got the edge to it. That is cool little artifact. Yeah, man, I like that. Right. I like that a lot. Off we trot. <laughs> Right, on to my lock related find of the day. Little face plate off a lock. <laughs> that is all. I always find something to do with locks, whether it's keys, padlocks themselves, face plates, yada yada yada. Yep, but that is my uh, lock find for the day. Probably find another bit of it later on. Off we drop. Am I on to my first coin of the day or is it a button? Place bets now. I hope it's a coin. <laughs> Probably a button. Oh, it's looking very coin-like. Very misshapen coin-like. Uh, excuse me, rubbing on the trousers. It's the best way to get rid of the dirt. Uh, very crusty coin. Oh, no, look at that. I'm not sure what that one is. I'm going to get a toothbrush out of that now and give it a good old clean. I've got some detail off that and I don't recognise it. Yeah, two seconds. I think the clean I'm going to do in the field. Uh, I did get, actually get a date off the back though. Uh, where is it now? Can you see it? 1783. Yeah man, so I don't know what that is. But it's a coin. Woo! It's a nice old one as well. Anyway, let's crack on. All right, that there is a big old buckle. Look at the size of it. Who knows what that was for? You'd notice if you lost something like that off a bit of equipment, wouldn't you? Hey. Anyway, just an old boring buckle. Off we draw. Right, I think that's a horse brass type thing. It certainly looks like it. Yeah, man. Uh, Bit bent up, bit of a funny shape as well. Ah, I know what that is. Dumbass, it's a spoon. That's where it would have joined onto the handle. <laughs> oh well, found a spoon. Cool, off a trot. I'm gonna say this is some sort of strap end. The reason why, it's still got the material in it, look. <laughs> yeah, man, that's all that is. Quite funky though. No design on it, it's just a bit of a very thin so I don't think it's too old either. Anyway, let's crack on. Yeah, I don't film all my mortar fins because I get quite a few and they in my eyes a pain in the bum. <laughs> but hey, I get a lot of them. But they ring up so good because it's circular and there's metal. So that's all. I wonder how many more mortar fins I'll get for the day. Who knows? Off a trot. Right, I've just snapchatted the wife and Asked her where the gold is. I've done this before and I found a gold stator. 
So I'm going to head over to the part of the field where she thinks there's gold. So she's right, shall we? I doubt she is. She's a, she's a woman. Anyway, let's crack on. Right, I've done about three live digs and they've all been tin cans. Is this one going to be different? Let's see. Gandas. It sounds good. Dad. <laughs> she goes to me. Dad. <laughs> Dad. Is the signal good or bad, Mr. Sheep? It's bad. Oh, oh, it's in the clod. What's it going to be? It's going to be not that. It's going to be a knob. I call it a knob on a live dig. A knob for a knob. Hey, there you go. Just a knob. Knob off. Off we trot. Well, the wife had pretty um, rubbish luck in her corner. I want to try my side now. <laughs> oh, I've only had one coin up so far. One. These fields are coinless. Coinless fields. Well, by the one. I ain't complaining though, it's from it was some 1700s, wasn't it? 1600s? 1700s? Late 1700s, that was it. Yeah man, so let's crack on. Farmer's driving his tractor, I think he's gonna try and run me over. Anyway, let's crack on. I had my sign, I pulled up a coin. I think it's a coin. Hope it's a coin. It is a coin. It's not a silver one though, but hey, still sort of beat the white area. That is a. Ooh, I don't know actually. I don't know. Head facing towards the left. A George. Second. That's George and Penny of some description. Must and grumble, never coin for the pot. Ah, uh, that hole there, which we stamp down, pulled up this little mount. Nothing on it though. Hey, who knows what age that's from? Put it in the good side, off the truck. Thought it was a hammered coin, first of all, but it isn't. But there is detail on it. Uh, something Bron London 16. Uh, it's a button. It's a button! But I don't know what kind of button it is. Uh, yeah, it's a funny one that. Right, off chop. Right. First decent signal of the day. Uh, it looks like something there. That's where it was, obviously. It's domed. Is it just some sort of crazy button? It's got very... I'm not sure, you know. It's got very irrational holes all, all in it. And it feels really heavy for what it is. Is it just some sort of button? If it is, why does it feel so heavy? I'm not sure, you know. It really feels heavier than it should do. Is, is it just like a trade weight or something? Let me have a clean up and see if it's like a case for something. It could be a gold coin inside. Well, you never know, do you? But yeah, let's clean it up, two steps. Right, I've had a clean up, but something still doesn't feel right about that. I want to see if I can get in the edges there, because it feels a lot heavier than it should do. It's very strange. It'll be interesting to find out. It looks like it's encapsulating something. Uh, very strange. Anyway, let's crack on. Right, my next little type artifact type thing is this here. Uh, it's got I think it's just a flat squashed button, but I cannot be sure it was a squat, uh, flat, flat squashed button. Uh, but that's what I'm going to put it down to. Definitely been worked, look. But who knows uh, what's going to come off this Saxon field, as I'm going to keep calling it. That's where I found a Saxon brooch, so yeah. Off a drop. Oh, excuse the wind noise. Uh, next signal's here. 
top of a big old crow, that would have been massive. That would have been huge. That would have been big Ben of crow bells. But yeah, man. Shame he's not complete, but I ain't complaining. It's a bit of a, and it's literally just down, down the road, down the field from where I found the Saxon brooch. So I'm gonna head and keep on doing this bit for a while because the old stuff's definitely here. Right, right off chop. So yeah, I just got this up. I would have thought it was really old until I picked it up and realised it's actually made of aluminium. So uh, it would have been some sort of brush, comb or something. Yeah man, it's even got like a little design on it. But it's Ali, so it's not going to be that old. Hey, off a chop. Alright, next signal. It's a nice little boot buckle. Or shoe buckle. Oh, it's even got a little bit of metal still stuck around it, look. You see that? That is cool. We like that. We like that a lot. I like little buckles like this. Anyway, let's crack on and see what's the next hole. Right, next signal. I think that's part of an old um, a bull ring. You know, you just go through the nose of a bull. It's got like a little pivot there and possibly a little latch at the bottom. Yeah, man. That's what I think that is but I'm not 100% sure. I am gonna go with some sort of bull ring and not the one in Birmingham. Anyway, have a chop.